How's it going, everybody? Uh, just here to do another DVD update. One second, let me make sure. Yeah, there we go. One more tone of brightness in here. Uh, got a DVD and Blu-ray update here. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, these first, let's see, four were all $5 pickups at Walmart. Uh, first one here is the two disc special edition of Samuel Fuller's The Big Red One. Uh, this one is called The Reconstruction. Uh, it has uh, footage that got added back into the film, I guess, in uh, 2004. Um, haven't watched this yet. I've uh, read about it a few times. Uh, always one for a good war movie. And uh, I've always wanted to see some of Samuel Fuller's work, so... Whoops. Uh... This uh, looks like to be a pretty cool movie. It has uh, uh, Lee Marvin, Mark Hamill, Robert Carradine, uh, among others. But uh, it's basically, from what I understand, it's kind of based off of uh, Samuel Fuller's experience uh, while he was at war. But uh looks pretty cool. Uh, World War II movie. So uh, always good to see Lee Marvin. So, no, you know, no problem there. Uh, disc one has uh, a commentary by Reconstruction producer Richard Schickel. Uh, I found that to be really cool that uh, Richard Schickel had something to do with uh, this movie getting uh, uh, quote unquote reconstructed. Um, he's probably my favorite film critic uh, out there. I just I've always really liked the guy. He uh, he's a great writer, great critic. Uh, likes a lot of you know same stuff I like. I mean you know as far as uh, classic film and stuff goes I'm sure he's not too into uh, you know like exploitation cinema or anything like that but most critics aren't so doesn't matter but uh, disc 2 has uh, alternate scenes has anatomy of a scene examined before and after restoration comparisons a uh, new documentary the real glory reconstructing the big red one uh, profile the men who made the movie Samuel Fuller War Department film, The Fighting First, uh, 1980 promo reel, theatrical trailer, and TV and radio spots, 2004 reconstruction uh, trailer, and stills gallery. It is a uh, is a two disc set. It's in one of the recycle cases. The two discs. But yeah, they they had a butt ton of war movies up there. Uh, I think it was for the Pearl Harbor anniversary, I guess. Uh, you know, sell people some more movies. So, also picked up uh, Patton. Didn't have this. Uh, and and I'll go ahead and show the next one too. I got both of these, and I, there's been a few times that I've seen a two pack of Blu-rays where you can get these both in Blu-ray together. But these were five a piece, so it was ten total. And usually that sets, you know, like double that. So I just went ahead and grabbed them on DVD for now. Uh, if I like them that much, like if I really, really like both of these movies, I'll probably, you know, go ahead and grab them on Blu-ray eventually. But for now, five bucks for the two disc DVDs of uh, Patton and uh, The Longest Day is uh, not a bad deal in my opinion. Uh, this uh, Patton set starring George C. Scott has a uh, disc one all new introduction by Francis Ford Coppola, who I do believe pinned the uh, screenplay. Uh, and it also has a commentary with Coppola. Disc 2 has History Through the Lens, Patton, a Rebel Revisited documentary, Patton's uh, Ghost Corps, all-new documentary, The Making of Patton documentary, uh, Production Still Gallery, accompanied by Jerry Goldsmith's Complete Musical Score, Behind the Scenes Still Gallery, accompanied by audio essay on the historical Patton original uh, theatrical trailer. So... This one's got a pretty cool set of features. I like the discs too. I like the how you know just the, the kind of tan and the green with the stars and stuff. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. And uh, the longest day, man. The cast in this movie, you guys will have to look it up yourself because it is epic. Uh, just to name a few, it's pretty neat. It even shows like almost you know all the faces there. But uh, I mean. Let's see who who all does it show on the back here. Uh, John Wayne, Ro uh, Robert Mitchum, Henry Fonda, Eddie Albert, uh, Richard Burton, Sean Connery, Peter Lawford, Rod Steiger, Stuart Whitman, 
uh, Robert Ryan, Edmund O'Brien, Kurt Jurgens, uh, and more. It says, that, yeah, there's a ton of people in this movie. Uh, it has a audio commentary by historian Mary Corey. Excuse me for a second. <coughs> Sorry. I had a bit of a head cold lately, so. Uh, audio commentary by director Ken Anakin. Uh, disc 2 has uh, a Day to Remember, All New Featurette, Longest Day, A Salute to Courage Featurette, AMC Backstory, The Longest Day, D-Day Revisited Documentary, uh, Richard Zanuck, On the Longest Day Featurette, Still Photo Gallery, and Original Theatrical Trailer. So, some pretty cool stuff on there. Alright, and the next one that I picked up for five bucks was uh, this Van Damme collection. This is actually... The first two Jean-Claude Van Damme movies that I have purchased, and honestly, it'll probably be the last two, because that that was the whole reason I grabbed this, because I was like, are you kidding me? They put my two favorite Van Damme movies in one pack together, Bloodsport and Time Cop. Uh, the only other two that I could think of that I would purchase to keep in my collection would uh, probably be Kickboxer. Uh, that one's okay. I prefer Bloodsport. Uh, and Double Impact. I liked Double Impact when I was a kid, even though it is, you know, pretty cheesy and, you know, he's playing two different characters and stuff, but I don't know, I got a kick out of it when I was younger, so I'd probably like to see that one again sometime, but these are my two favorites. It's, uh, I don't have to open it, it's just a flipper disc. Uh, it has, uh, Bloodsport, uh, widescreen, includes, uh, cast and crew film highlights and trailer. And uh, has Time Cop, says uh, first time widescreen version DVD release, or uh, no features. So uh, pretty cool. Cool that it's like my two favorite Van Damme movies on there. Kind of lame cover though. Alright, uh, next, uh, this next film I ordered from uh, deepdiscount.com. And uh, it came, I, I ordered two things at once, but, <clears throat> excuse me, it came first. So I'll show it first, but uh, it's uh, Dark Knight of the Scarecrow. Uh, pretty cool little movie from what I understand. I haven't got a chance to watch it yet. Uh, I met the uh, writer, uh, J.D. Feigelson, at a uh, convention, and my uncle, who's a huge, huge fan of this film, just went on and on about it, and you know, we stood there and talked to the guy for a long time, and... Uh, I uh, made a promise to myself that when this came out, I would get it as soon as I could. And uh, I was kind of waiting because I didn't want to order it by itself. I wanted to order some other stuff with it. So I uh, went ahead and got this whenever I ordered uh, one of the next things I'll show. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty nice uh, pretty nice DVD. It has uh, has a few features on it. Uh, well, should try. Okay, uh, director and writer commentary. Uh, with 5.1 surround sound, CBS uh, network world premiere promo, and uh, English and Spanish subtitles. This was a made-for-TV film, from what I understand. Uh, it uh, stars uh, Charles Durning and uh, Larry Drake, which is pretty cool, because uh, I like Larry Drake. Dr. Googles is awesome. But, uh, yeah, it seems like a cool little flick. And uh, I may sit down and do, like, an individual review for this one. I know my uncle... Uh, He's a huge horror fan. He's a huge movie fan in general, but he, he really got me into horror and stuff when I was younger and uh, usually got pretty good taste and stuff. He really likes this. He says it's he said it was his favorite uh, Scarecrow movie he'd ever seen and uh, looks pretty cool. But uh, next we got some Blu-rays. Uh, today while I was out Christmas shopping, uh, I decided to treat myself with my Christmas bonus I got from work and... Uh, Get the uh, 30th anniversary edition Maniac Blu-ray. It was the last copy my local Best Buy had, so I was pretty stoked to see it there. Uh, I really wasn't looking for it. I saw it on a couple other people's videos and thought that'd be cool to have. And when I saw it for 20 bucks, I was like, yeah, I'm going to grab that. So uh, It's got a ton of features. I'm going to try to go through it real quick. I don't know how much time I have. But uh, Anyway, uh, it's got a commentary with the director and the co-producer. Uh, it has another commentary with the director and uh, Tom Savini. Uh, and the editor and uh, actor Joe Spinell's assistant. has uh, Anna and the Killer interview with uh, star Carolyn Monroe. 
The Death Dealer, interview with special makeup effects artist Tom Savini. Dark Notes, interview with composer uh, Jay Chataway. Uh, Maniac Men, uh, interview with songwriters Michael Cimbello and Dennis Metkowski. Uh, trailers, TV spots, radio spots, Mr. Robbie, Maniac 2 promo reel. Uh, the Joe Spinell to, uh, story, Maniac Publicity, and Maniac Controversy. So, really nice little uh, two-disc set. It's got the movie on the Blu-ray and then uh, the special features on the DVD. So, uh, pretty cool stuff. Can't beat it for 20 bucks. Uh, next, while I was out, I picked up the uh, T2 Skynet Edition on uh, Blu-ray. I'm actually watching it right now as we speak. And uh, may I say the transfer is beautiful, has some really awesome features, and uh, for those of you out there that have it, uh, it's uh, just like the uh, old disc. If you type in uh, the date that the world, I guess, was supposed to end, or or the uh, date that the bombs were supposed to go off and stuff, uh, it's uh, I do believe uh, August 29th, uh, 1997. Uh, it'll access the extended special edition so pretty cool stuff uh, too much stuff to go over there alright uh, try to show this one real quick this one I ordered uh, this one got shipped after Dark Knight of the Scarecrow it's the Criterion set America Lost and Found the BBS story uh, don't worry that I run through this really fast because I'm gonna do a uh, individual vid for this um, the films it includes are uh, Head, Easy Rider, uh, Five Easy Pieces, Drive He Said, A Safe Place, The Last Picture Show, The King of Marvin Gardens, and uh, that's it. And then it also has a, a nice booklet with it. So, but a really great set. Got it at a really really great price. So, uh, I guess uh, that'd be it. I want to thank you guys for watching, and uh, just keep your eyes open for, uh, I'm going to do a vid just talking about this set in and of itself. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.